Hello folks, welcome to bestchoicervs.com located in Irwin, Pennsylvania. Phone number 724-864-1449. Today we have a 2016 Thor Palazzo 33.4 model. Let's go over some of the features. We've got heated power mirrors with side camera. We also have dual glazed windows. These are thermal pane windows, they're not single glazed. Down below we have brand new Goodyear Endurance. These are less than a week old. We put them on, they're brand new tires. So no problems there. And outside in the forward compartment, we have storage forward. We have a first slide out. It does have a television inside of it. We also have the awning over the slide outs, as well as the main awning power. As far as the storage is concerned on this camper, we've got plenty of storage in the 33.4 model. It is a raised rail, so you actually get all the way past through storage. Again, the new tires. Back here, we have the full bank of batteries. Battery disconnect switch. There's one here and there's one inside the camper to ensure you don't drain your batteries during storage. And back here we have our 2000 watt inverter to operate to invert the power to 110 from 12 volt. This is one of the reasons why the refrigerator and the size that you'll see later uh, can operate going down the highway. Going around the back of the camper, the power featured is a 6.7 liter Cummins. It's a 300 horsepower, 660 pounds foot torque, and it does have a tow capability of 10,000 pounds. This also is matched up with an Allison six-speed transmission and it is full air ride with air brake and it does have the Jake brake for emergency braking. Coming down the passenger side, we've got full 50 amp service. We have storage. In the storage, this also comes with a surge guard protector standard, a sidewinder hose reel, and a couple other accessories to help you get on your camping way. Slam latch doors. This is your DEF tank, so it does use DEF. They give you a large generous tank, so you have to worry about those short trips. Again, we've got the slide toppers on both sides. This is full body paint. It is one owner as far as we know. So here in this compartment, we have the sewer area. We have our black tank at 38 gallons. We have our gray tank at 50 gallons. The fresh tank is 95 gallons. And of course, the fuel on this is 90 gallons. Those are all your sizes, your tanks. You've got your automatic winterization station, outside shower, black tank sewer flush, and a light on the outside. More pass-through storage. And this is your LP tank forward. The biggest thing about this camper, folks, it's under 5,000 miles. It has under 5,000 miles. It's been fully serviced. It's ready to go on the road. Let's go around inside the camper, shall we? So inside the 33.4, we're gonna feature three slide outs. Two opposing in the front and one in the bedroom. So the main features are we touched on already. We do have our Magnum Energy System, which inverts 12 volt power to 110. We also have your main slide outs, water pump, patio lights, and your water heater, which is gas electric six gallon. Your refrigerator, which is 110 through the inversion residential style, stainless steel, top and bottom, with ice maker. In the entertainment area, we've got the leather, flat screen TV, sound bar, full storage, and seat belts. So if you have any riders over here, we've got seat belts for them. Um, and going forward, a couple of things. So this is only halfway down. This is a queen bed up top. As you can see that the actual ladder hangs here 
and obviously it touches the floor when it's fully down. It's only in a halfway position to show you how it operates. Going into the cockpit of the area, starting on our left side is our six-speed Allison transmission. We've got our heated mirrors that are also power. We have our leveling jacks, which are automatic. We have our docking lamps out the sides that's used for evening driving uh, as you back up so you can see both sides in the dark. Auxiliary start off the coach batteries to start the engine. And we have our emergency brake, which is the uh, Jake brake. Um, we also have the uh, air gauges for the height of the air, which during operation is about 80 PSI. So you are floating on air, it has air brakes. Um, you have a nice instrument cluster here. It shows you temperature, oil, RPMs, engine, battery, and your depth. So you'll have your fuel and your depth. You'll know where you stand at all times. Um, it is a Freightliner chassis, uh, so it's, it's one of the best. We have our generator start up inside. We have dash fans on both sides, two, two speeds. Our nightshade that's power across the front. And we also have our dome light located in the center. It does have the backup uh, camera with the side cameras. It's a large screen. It is um, also got the radio in it and uh, you can do other accessories with it. It is Bluetooth by the way. Uh, it does have dash air conditioner that does work. It's got charge ports all across and uh, like two sets of keys. So going back towards the back of the camper we've got our lever sofa. This converts into a bed as well as our dinette converts into a bed. So we actually have four beds in this camper. Your shades are always gonna be the night, sh the day shade, as well as the night shade. That's standard in this motorhome. And they do very nice well. They have a nice glazing on their hardwood doors. It's 100% hardwood. The Whirlpool microwave is also a convection microwave. So no need for an oven down here, which gives you additional storage in the kitchen. Also, this camper has all the books that it came with. Owner's manuals, it's got your chassis, your generator, it's got your televisions, it's got your inverters, all your appliances, and then the actual owner's manual from Thor. So it's a well-documented coach, everything comes with it. Your countertops are going to be all Corian. This is an actual backsplash. It's not a piece of paper. It's going to be a ceramic finish. It's a well done piece of equipment. The sink is going to be a single lever faucet with the Corian inserts, two sides, plenty of kitchen storage in this unit, nice deep closets. You can actually change the height. You've got a lot of closets down here easy slot out and they do lock. They lock in the end position or storage back underneath here. There's a storage location for both your sink tops so when it use they won't be sitting in your way. Now going down the hallway towards the restroom we're going to have additional storage in the pantry area and this is going to come out and you can see how nice this is to operate. Again 100% hardwoods. These are all hardwoods in this. The glaze is outstanding, it's got a lot of depth to it. And we have a third. So the storage is not a problem. The nice thing about this camper is 34 foot, 34, 34.75 foot long. It's a nice shorty, it's got great power for the size. It's only 12 foot high with air conditioner, which is a great height, and uh, it cuts through the wind pretty nice. Your door also is a hardwood door, as you can see. Not a curtain at this price point. Our restroom is a hard door and a nice towel hanging area. It's magnetically connected to that wall. So you can actually use this section right here for the bath. We've got a China Bowl foot flush toilet. Nice sink area, hot and cold running water, and plenty of medicine cabinet. All your ceilings are soft touch. They're not carpet, 
They're easily maintainable, cleanable. Um, one of the nicer features, plus it's got some thickness to it, so it's a good dense. It keeps a lot more insulation factor, keeps the noise out. It does have dual air. The airs run through ductwork, both sides of the camper. Not a single ductwork, but there's doubles all the way down front to back. Your shower is a glass door shower. And it's got the oversized head here. In the bath or bedroom area, we've got our washer and dryer. And they are Whirlpool. We've got our dual air conditioner systems. They run separately or both together, your choice. Your lights are here, they're well barked. Slide out in and out. Your rear slide is in this location. It has the queen bed, it is a 60 by 80. You can actually have um, a large amount of, of storage space over the top. They're very deep. I'm gonna step over here. I'm gonna show you some depth. But if you can catch back there, there's no shortage of storage in a unit. Again, this is only 30, under 35 feet long. A lot of storage. It's a well thought out floor plan. Probably one of their top sellers. Again, storage across this side as well. And we have a bureau storage here, as well as a tall bureau here. A rear television system. And then we still have the walk-in closet located here. So this camper just hit the market today. It's October 6, 2021. Give us a call. It's not going to last long. And thanks for listening. BestChoiceRVs.com.